In this video, we'll show you how to measure the distance between two waypoints. Let's imagine here that we have two waypoints on our GPS and we want to measure the straight line distance. Now, I'll cover the two ways. One, the easy way is to use your GPS. The other way is to use pad and pen right here. So let's start with the easy way first. So let's say we're here on the trail and you can see here on our GPS, I have a number of waypoints, points of interest or geocaches here. And let's assume that uh, there's a trail that follows, that hooks up to these three. I just want to measure to see uh, how far I have to hike. So you can use your cursor pad here to get your cursor. You can start at one here and you can hit the menu key and that will give you the menu options, measure distance, hit enter. And now you can start to draw and you can see here that it will start to draw a line right here. For example, you can hit enter. That will give you a distance of 895. Let's say we want to hook up to the third item here. So we just take our cursor and continue scrolling up. Now at some point it will uh, lock to the center of your waypoint like that. You can hit enter. There you go. You're all done. 3.2 kilometers is our straight line distance. We can hit menu again and we can stop measuring. Hit enter and there you go. Your line is done. So let's go and flip over and try to do the same thing but with pad and paper. All right, so in order to do this with the pad and paper, we need to make a change to our menu options here. So we're just going to hit on um, page to get our uh, main menu. And we're going to need to change our coordinates to UTM. So we need to go down to uh, position format. Our position format, we need to change that. Use the in and out key to page down because we do have a lot of formats here. And we're looking for a UTM, which is right there. Hit enter. And let's go back. And let's go back to our map page so you can see. Now that I move the, uh, the cursor, if you look at before, you can see now we have a different format. Now we can go and actually get to our second stage with the pad and paper. In order to get going, it's fairly simple. Let's say we have a waypoint right here. We'll call this P1. We have another waypoint over here. Let's call that P2. And we want to know what is the straight line from point one to point two. Now, because we're using UTM, and UTM is simply uh, an eastern coordinate and a northern coordinate, all we have to do now is simply do some simple math from high school and figure out this triangle question that we've uh, all done in math class. So essentially we're going to do a square plus b square equals c square. Let's try this. All right, so let's start. So I, let's take the two waypoints that I just uh, showed, showed you. So here are the UTM coordinates for coordinate one and the second coordinate, which is right here. So what you're going to do is subtract and get the positive from each of these eastings and northings in which will give you these two numbers here right so once you've done that now we can go back to our right angle triangle problem math question and go down to the next part which is the square root of 277 plus 931 the square root of that is 76,000 and 866,000 next what we'll do is simply add that it gives us 943,490. And to, to get this down, we'll do the square root. And with this, we're down to 971.33, otherwise 971 meters. So let's check on the GPS and see if we did this right. So here's our, there's the GPS again. So let's, uh, Zoom in a little tight here just so that we can do this right. So let's hit menu, let's measure distance, and let's scroll down here and measure. And here we go, 972 meters. Not bad. So there you go. That's how you can measure the distance between two waypoints using the GPS or pad and paper.